Well, operating in the depths of the ocean for months at a time, the Navy submarine force is called the silent service for a reason. But now concerns over the readiness of our attack submarines are growing louder, with nearly 40 percent of the fleet in need of some type of repair. Correspondent Kelly Meyer is live in Washington. Kelly, this shortage is really coming at a critical time. Yeah, that's right, Nicole. And that's certainly what we're pressing Navy officials at the Pentagon about today. Is this a national security concern, especially considering the heightened tensions with Russia over the war in Ukraine and China over Taiwan? It's really the perfect storm of problems here, from getting the materials to the shipyard due to supply chain issues, to having enough workers at the shipyard, and then to meeting those day-to-day -day demands. It's all leaving the U.S. Navy with 31 nuclear-powered attack submarines available. Now, by comparison, China reportedly has six nuclear-powered attack submarines, while Russia is believed to have fewer than 20. An example is the USS Connecticut. It won't be back in service for at least another two to three years after hitting an underwater mountain in the South China Sea back in 2021. Now, this is all according to a July 6 report from the Congressional Research Office. As you can see, the problem has accelerated in the past decade. And while not equipped with nuclear weapons, these attack submarines are designed to track and, if need be, fire on other submarines, surface ships, and targets on land. Some solutions proposed from top Navy officials include the idea of adding more shipyards to improve maintenance. Currently, there are four public shipyards available and capable of repairing and modernizing the Navy's most advanced vessels. Now, Navy and Pentagon leadership have repeatedly said that the Navy's submarine force is among America's top advantages over adversaries like China and Russia. Still, the service remains subpar even to their own standards. Delays, they say, though, have dropped over the last few years to around 1,000 delays in 2022. The hope is to get that as close to zero delays as possible by 2026. They say by making sure that nearly 100 percent of the materials are at the site when work begins. Nicole. Yeah, hopefully uh, that will make a difference. Kelly, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.